we're doing right now. Right here. Yeah. It's Vertigo Gnome. And I just wanted to make a quick review of a film I recently just saw with a friend. Um, it's kind of a surprise, really didn't intend to go see a film anytime soon because your girl broke as fuck and can't afford anything. So um, I recently just saw Annihilation, um, if you couldn't tell by the title. Uh, it was a really good movie. I had some problems with it. I'm sure you've already seen a reviewer go over this movie, or maybe you haven't. Um, and this is your first perspective. I'm not going to go into any spoilers in this film, but uh, I do want to kind of give my perspective on it and bring something new to, to the good old-fashioned reviews. Annihilation, I, I really liked it, but there was, there was a lot of issues with it. Well, I'll start with what I really liked about it. I went into it uh, knowing nothing about it. I watched one trailer, and it was a while back, and I kind of remembered there was this if you watch the trailer, there's this big wall that just kind of appears that looks like oil and plasma or whatever, just kind of dripping down. And I think it really looks cool. I really actually liked the wall. I know some people didn't particularly like it, but I thought it looked really cool. I would have liked to have seen more of it. Um, that it doesn't. I'm not going to go too in depth, but uh, I would have liked to have seen more of it in the film, uh, especially if you guys even know the most basic thing about the plot. It's this big thing appears, scientists don't know what it is, Natalie Portman and a bunch of other female scientists go in to explore the area. That, the trailer, that's not giving any spoilers, that's exactly what's clear in the trailer. One thing I wasn't really expecting, mostly just because I don't think I remembered it from the trailer, was it was it was really pretty at times. Sometimes the colors are really gross, but sometimes they had some really breathtaking shots and they had some scenes that I found really disturbing or just very unnerving. It, it, it's under the horror genre, like science fiction horror, and I think that's a fair thing to say, but it goes into a lot of other things. It's also a drama at times. The film, uh, it's, hard, it's really hard to say about it. It really does make you think. You've probably heard other reviewers say that as well. It is a film that is going to make you think, and I think a film that deserves a second viewing. I'm not going to pay money. Your girl ain't going to pay money to go see it again twice, but I will go see it eventually again. Uh, you know, if if you subscribers finally commit, I might get that av revenue. I only need like 9,990 more of you guys, am I right? <laughs> there, there were parts of it that just almost seemed useless. Um, they didn't add anything to the story. If anything, it takes it away from the story. I, I didn't like how um, in, in the, the very beginning of the film, how they decide to start the story. I think it would have been better just to cut that out entirely and just kind of jump right into it. I, I just wish they had kind of started us right off the bat, not, uh, it, it's one of those, it's one of those things where it'll go flashback back and forth, and I think that takes away from this film. Sometimes that really works in the film, like Memento, but in this film it just, it took me out of what we were experiencing. But when we were experiencing things, it was I think it was very well done. Some of the CGI was really good, some of the CGI was really bad. A another thing I really liked, this this isn't a spoiler, I'm not gonna, I really am not gonna say, go into too much detail about what it does, but um, one of my favorite things in this film was how some things that could just seem so innocent. It was so unnerving to me and very unsettling. And I, I don't know if everyone felt that way, but I really felt that way. I didn't want to go into spoiler talk, so sorry. Uh, sometimes the dialogue would really make me question it. Not like question of philosophy, more like question what the writers were thinking at that time. They were probably thinking um, that it sounded really good, but to me it just sounded really dumb or cliche. I know for a fact there's been other complaints about this and I entirely agree with it. YMS did a, um, a quick review on this and he, he said how he hated that um, the dialogue in the when they're arguing about whether some scary shit's going on in a video if, if it's just a trick of the light and I thought that was really dumb. There's absolutely no way that could have been trick of the light and it just felt like useless arguing. Um, and they almost addressed it, but not really. They almost addressed it themselves with how stupid it was. But anyway, that, that was kind of dumb. Like, there's little things like that throughout the movie. But 
some things just make you go, geez, Louise, this is a really creative and unique film. It's different. It's not boring, but it has boring moments, if that makes sense. The film, like I said, if they cut out the part in the beginning entirely and just let the story played out as it is, it would be a lot better, I think, and that might get rid of 10, 20 minutes of the runtime. I, I, again, I didn't really go into this film knowing anything, not even the runtime, and uh, I, I didn't realize how long the film was. Another thing I want to add about Annihilation, I think some of the story is really fascinating. You want to learn more. I think the director gives you just enough to work with. What is it, Garland? He, work, he gives you just enough to work with it. Um, to make you kind of understand what's going on, but he doesn't give you everything, which normally I really appreciate in a film. But sometimes it kind of, just sometimes it kind of would have been nice to have some things answered for us in this film. I'm not asking for too much and I won't go into it, but um, for those of you who haven't seen the film, I would honestly say it's worth going to see. Pay the 12 to $16 it's gonna cost to get a ticket. Go with somebody, it's fun to talk about afterwards with. The person I went with didn't like the film. To be fair, she was misled by the trailer. She didn't understand what kind of film it was going to be. My interpretation of it was, all right, this is a film that's gonna make me think. Is this gonna be like Mother? Is it gonna make me wanna really think and dwell on what I just saw for a bit? And it did, it, it really did do that. But if you're going into this film thinking you're gonna watch like an action-packed thriller horror film, like monster flick, that's not what this is. But it's, it is a really good film. And I would recommend going to see it. It has problems. But I think you can look past those problems and just really enjoy the film for what it is. That's all I really have to say. I wanted to do a little quick thing.